Uh, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, and if I uh, uh, could thank everybody for taking the, the time to be here and, and uh, recognise the Ngunnawal people on whose land uh, we're here today, and uh, particularly thank you, Prime Minister, for taking the time uh, to come out, and uh, uh, Ministers Macklin and Collins and other members of Parliament. Uh, Dick Adams at the back here, too, for the price of one. Malcolm, Malcolm, <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull, thanks, Malcolm. Uh, Rob Oakshot. There's a lot of uh, members and staff members and senators here, and I do thank you all for taking the time. This is a very proud uh, day for me as a, as a local member. We all have things that we're very proud of, but I'm extremely proud of these guys, of what they've been able to do. These guys are the backtrack guys. They do a number of things within our community. This is one of them. The, and and uh, Bernie, I'll explain it in a minute, Bernie Shakeshaft is an extraordinary architect of this successful program. Uh, they do a number of things. The dogs are a part of the process of gaining confidence uh, and self-esteem and, and really putting them on the map. But they, they're also involved in engineering, in contract work on farms, in helping people during the floods. Uh, extraordinarily, <laughs> extraordinary effort. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't worry me at all, and I'm not going to talk for much, much, much longer. But I do thank you, particularly Prime Minister, for taking the time uh, to come out and see these guys. I'll hand over to Bernie now. Who, who this is going to be a structured program. Uh, enjoy the show. Uh, get to know the guys. And uh, the one thing I want you fellows to know that I'm personally very, very proud of what you what you've achieved. Talking to talking to the uh, talking to the security guys this morning, uh, they made the point to me: if if people were as courteous and kind as you were coming through, we wouldn't need security in the building. And I think that's uh, you know says some a lot about uh, you guys. Enjoy the show and uh, en enjoy meeting the people that are here. Thank you very much. Today, uh, this is an extraordinary opportunity that the Prime Minister and uh, Tony Windsor have put on. Uh, driving down here yesterday, we were sort of freaking out, going, "Oh, we don't know about what the protocol is, or how do you speak to the Prime Minister?" Or, so uh, there was a lot of nervousness. But when we got here, we met uh, Virginia and all the people <laughs> from those different offices that came in here. It showed me one thing. First up, is that people really care. You know, uh, sure the boys are here, but. Uh, the warm welcome that we got from every single person that was here in the dark helping us set up our jump uh, was extraordinary. And I think it's the message that we need to be sending out to young people right across the country is that we do care and I think it's terrific to see right from the very top, headquarters of Australia, uh, that people do care. Um, I'm going to have to go through, uh, consult a few notes as we go. This is not my normal uh, code of uh, operation really, is talking at Parliament House. Um, but look, what I do know is that every Australian community has a growing band of young people uh, that are really struggling to, um, to survive in our systems. We travel around to a lot of different rural communities all across the uh, country, and we hear the same thing over and over. It's people looking for solutions. Right here in Armidale, uh, I believe, is one of those solutions that we actually have. So what we're going to have a look at here today uh, is, is part of one of our programs, Backtrack. This is Pause Up. Uh, we've got 15 young people here today. We were hoping, you'll notice one of the boys doesn't have a dog. We thought that Reuben the Caboodle was going to be here. <laughs> we're going to do some dog jumping. <laughs> Turns out it's not the case. <laughs> Too naughty. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but look, backtrack, it's about short training dogs, but it's about training boys. It's also about training communities. So what you're going to see here is across, uh, you know, 
a section of, of the boys that we have. We've put nearly 300 boys through our program. We've got about 55 uh, that we're working with at the moment. Here's 15 of the boys that travel with us fairly regularly uh, doing the dog jumping. So when we were driving down, I asked the boys a couple of questions. Some of the boys here go to school, some have finished school. But one of my questions that I asked was, over the last six years, whether you've been in the program for six months or for six years, has it made a difference for school? <coughs> is the answer. I want to give you, this is not to embarrass the boys and I've spoken with them, but I want to give people a bit of a feel the types of young fellows that we're working with. Has anyone here ever had a police caution? Righto. Anyone here, whether you're at school or prior when you were at school, ever have a short suspension? Hmm, what about a long suspension? What about in the last six months? Anyone had a suspension? Righto. The boys at the front here have only been in the program for six months or a little less than six months. Part of what we do is make sure every kid that comes through our programs gets some form of nationally accredited training. The schools see uh, what they do as actually um, going to school so they get a, a tick in the attendance book when they're with them. Uh, less than six months. Can you fellas, if you're enrolled in a nationally accredited certificate too in anything, just shuffle forward for us? Righto. We always try and bring the younger fellows with us. <clears throat> the next row back, we've got uh, some other guys. How long have you blokes been in the program? Three years. Three years. Yep, so between two and three years. Once you've been in a backtrack program for two or three years, step forward if you've actually completed a certificate. <laughs> if you're in a school-based traineeship, or a full-time traineeship, or you're about to in the next week, chuckle on forward. <laughs> Three years down the track, you start to get a real feel for how effective this uh, program can be. Rightio, if you complete the Cert 2, you guys, yeah? What about chuckle forward if you've completed the Cert 3? Enrolled in a Cert 4. If you're enrolled in a Cert 4 and have a full-time traineeship. <laughs> right here, that gives you a bit of a look at the demographic. Uh, we don't want to stand around doing too much talking because we're boys of action. <laughs> so we're going to wheel these dogs out and uh, show you just how extraordinary <laughs> we can get these. Can I see if you can make it? Part of what we do here is make sure that everyone that has a crack at this actually succeeds. Um, now Tom's going to be pretty busy here from education. Starts right here with the Prime Minister. Right here, let's call some of these dogs through. Did you be able to see this? Working dog. Each dog has three attempts at the height. It's slippery, this. Oh, it's oh, he's got a high jump. Yeah. Getting the high jump. The high jump. <laughs> Oh. I've asked Caroline Lupton to come uh, with us today. Caroline's actually the deputy of one of the largest high schools in Armour It has a lot of the um, indigenous kids, specifically from her experience of working with the backtrack boys. Thank you, everybody. It's getting a bit overwhelmed. It's getting a bit high. put square pegs into round holes. Oh. Well, you'll never use in the real world. <laughs> 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 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm a farmer from the New England uh, at Armadale and I first met uh, Bernie and the boys about three years ago and uh, got involved with him. Uh, from an in industry perspective, I find that uh, we have a great uh, ability to uh, have workers to call upon at any time. Uh, farmers in general are getting older. I think the average up now, now, I work in conjunction with my father, who's a 72-year-old retired farmer who doesn't want to let go of the land. Okay, so... Uh, it used to take about 15 days. This last uh, season, we've had all these come in and help me, and we did all those colours and lands in just three and a half days. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's a big call. We're providing a really, really good training base for what I call future farmers. Okay? Well done. Yeah. I believe it's a win-win situation. And programs such as Ag Lads should be recognised for their outstanding. <laughs> there is no such joy as the passing of one's knowledge to a group of young fellas who are keen and eager to pass. <laughs> I think that most farmers are keen to pass on the years of experience and often they have no audience to share that with. The Backtrack back, back, back Program and the boys who I've been privileged to know have given me the opportunity to share my ex experiences, but in turn, I... I'm going to show you a couple of interesting things. Uh, the way we train the dogs, pretty similar to the way we train the boys. The first thing is, <laughs> we have to find something that they're interested in. Without that motivation, uh, we can't do anything with them. So, some of these dogs, they're all working dogs, but some of them are mad for chasing balls. Some of them will do any ball in its life. Uh, but it'll chase a tennis racket around. <laughs> So once we provide, find that motivation, uh, this is one of our up and coming stars. Right? So Marcus will use that tennis racket once the dog jumps over as a reward. Well, not oh, working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. Catch. Tennis racket goes up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Another lad. Uh, funding from the government. This has changed the game for us now. This is about more boys, more opportunities, and starting to take this program to different regions. Everywhere we travel, people are looking to get uh, a backtrack in their town. And this is one of the things, the $800,000 that's been committed, 200,000 um, recurrent over the next four years, is an extraordinary thing for us. We're going to ask uh, the Prime Minister to bring that $800,000 board up. And Tony, and Tony Windsor, sorry. <laughs> And then we're going to show you, because uh, this is the backtrack dream that we're living here. That really is an original track. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Right, take it up here and Dusty will throw it up. Right. 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 right, now Tony, you've got to jump over. <laughs> no, you've got to do that. You've got to do that. Something tells me there will be a very energetic dog that can do that for us. I think we might have one. <laughs> so what we have now is an $800,000 board. <laughs> Let's go, come on. What we have, Badger? Oh. Last few years, we've only lost first place on two occasions. These guys are extraordinary. Radio Gibbo. One of the things the program does is. We're on track, dogs. He's tracked. He's tracked. He's tracked. The message there that's really important as well is take a risk. Somebody said, Oh, my God. 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 Thank <laughs> you.
He's the other one. <laughs> he wants to do it. <laughs> It's a big dog. I'm anxious now. Come on. Hey, completely quiet. Just totally paying attention. I don't know whose dog this is, Tony. Oh, I <laughs> Just give us a little bit of space. Thanks so much for having us. It's um, been terrific. It's a great opportunity. Um, you know, there's a new song, a Lee Kernigan song. Uh, the new bush is here, a turn of the page, and I reckon these guys are doing it. We've got them out working in the rural industry, and um, you know, we're going to change the rural, uh, the face of rural stuff. You know, it's the biggest employer for us. These guys have got the jobs. But um, this is it, the Backtrack Boys. We'll just finish off with this one little thing and then we're going to gather over here uh, for a group photo if anyone wants one. If we can get you, yeah, that'd yeah, be terrific. <laughs> that'd be straight now to the trophy room. Right here, these, you got enough room there, yeah. boys? Yeah. Right here, this is the Backtrack Boys and this is the way they roll. Oh! <laughs> right here, boys, just come in, bring a couple of dogs and we'll uh, get a photo with the Prime Minister. And Mr. Windsor, you're coming in with us? Well done to you. Good on you. Thank 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 Come on, Bernie, get in the photo. I know where you've got to get in the photo. Give me a pat on the head. Yeah. 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 What do you reckon, boys? Three cheers for the Prime Minister. Yeah. 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 What about three cheers for the boys?